we as IHCC, uh, we're a turnkey solution provider specialized in healthcare and education and mixed-use projects. Uh, we've been dealing in the region, in the MENA region in Saudi Arabia for the past uh, years, more than 20, 25 years. We're ranked as the first uh, Class A contractor. So the idea is that we've been involved here in the region and Saudi specifically, and we're back again here in Saudi due to the changes that happened and the, and the focus in the construction industry uh, based on the budgets that are placed from the government. Uh, we believe that uh, Saudi Arabia has been a place or a country that has um, many um, of its spending is based in the construction. So many uh, other countries are differ in this based on uh, countries' budgets. You would find some people spending in uh, uh, specific energies or specific uh, industries, but Saudi has been spending in its infrastructure for the past years, and specifically in the last 10 years, um, with King Abdullah, God bless his, uh, rest his soul, he has been spending a lot into the healthcare infrastructure, the education infrastructure, the actual infrastructure of bridges and dams and all the following. And uh, we believe now with the new ruler, King Salman, that um, things are going to even grow um, to, the, to, to the higher um, uh, results and, and better expectations, especially due to um, uh, many of the projects of King Abdullah that were initiated by King Abdullah are going to be completed. Uh, pretty soon, many of the medical cities, um, many of the educational uh, projects, uh, many of uh, there is so many projects that are going to be completed now, uh, and the use of the young population, uh, which is almost seventy percent of Saudi Arabia, uh, they're going to be using them now. Whether they're students, whether they're uh, patients, whether they're um, business-oriented uh, young entrepreneurs, uh, whether they're SMEs, all the infrastructure has been put in place and uh, we'll see many of the results within the coming years. And to uh, add to that, King Salman and the, and, um, and the princes and the people that were selected by his uh, Great Highness Prince Salman, like uh, Prince Migrin and Prince Mohammed bin Naif, and Prince Mohammed bin Salman and many of the new ministers, you are going to see that Saudi Arabia has a new structure of um, power that is from the young and from the young generation. Many of the ministers are under the age of um, 40 years old. And uh, we feel that uh, this will reflect a lot on the construction industry in all the industries in a very positive way, especially that they wanna. They, they are closer to the young generation, and they feel their needs, and they feel their whether it's related to design, whether it's related to quality, whether it's related to um, to expectations, whether whether it's related to integration, whether it's related to sustainability. All of these things are usually people when they speak about the construction industry, they think it's just constructing a building. That's not the case. You're not just constructing a building. It's a whole process that's in integrated to it. So when we speak about ourselves, for example, in IHCC, we take projects from conception to completion. We take them from the design, we take them from the construction. Design meaning concept design, detail design, construction, civil, electromechanical, equipping, planning, handing over, testing, commissioning. We align with the management companies. These buildings are not just there to be built. They're there to be used properly with the operators so it has to have alignment it has to be built to suit it has to be built to the requirement of the person or the company or the management team that's operating it it has to be efficient for the team that's using it too so it has to be user friendly the people that are using it whether it's an education project or a healthcare project it has to cater to their needs to their requirements and then on top of all of that you have to have the facility management of these projects you can't just build the greatest and the best and then don't know how this building is going to function and how it's going to operate from a facility management or maintenance point of view. So we actually do the facility management to these projects too because we believe that projects have to be integrated. 
and they have to be built to the need of the users too. And what's happening now in Saudi is a lot of great new projects that are adding and, and adding to the whole cycle of that. Because you have to have the, the, the it, people think of the construction, the construction is just part of it. You have to have the people who are going to operate, the people who are going to make this building work. So Saudi now is investing a lot in all industries. They're investing a lot in, in, in education. They actually, they actually have one of the largest education budgets available nowadays. One of the largest healthcare budgets available nowadays. Because they believe that these two industries in specific are industries that are the main core of any country and any economy. And if you spend on education, you therefore get the best quality of a caliber in your citizens, in the people that are adding back to the community. As I mentioned, 70% are from the age of 18 to 32. This is, I call it human capital. Many people say that they have natural resources like oil and uh, coffee, beans and gas and whatever you want to, whatever um, natural resources that are out there. But I say that we are blessed here that we have human natural resources, human capital. It's a country that has 80% of young generation. What more than, what more than that do you need? Uh, other countries around the world are, are, are suffering from uh, their citizens going into the elderly phase. A lot of money that are spent from the economy is being spent on people that are not producing. People that are above 60 and 70 years old, they are non-producing people that are affecting the economy by living longer. I wish them all the best to live longer, but I mean, they're living longer and not returning back to the economy. Therefore, the government is spending more money on them. But if you look at this region, the young population is the majority. In Saudi Arabia, is 70%. In Egypt, is 50%. In other Gulf countries and Arabic countries, they're also the same. So we are... We have to really focus on um, giving this young generation the best education, the best role models to look up to, the best systems, the best um, integration between these construction projects and the people available. How are they going to work hard to design them, to build them, to function in them, to work in them? So when you mention the construction industry in Saudi Arabia, I can tell you that I believe Saudi Arabia is going to go through remarkable, a remarkable golden era uh, for years to come related to the construction industries and related to the country as a whole and related to all the industries available there. Because we are just at the right place with the right caliber of people, with the right leadership and with the right resources.